Hiya, and welcome back to After Class, the game that teaches us that Mark Kuhn does not know how to confess his feelings to Walter Senpai. It is cold as hell outside. It is very cold outside, so I am Hiya, so I am once again wrapped up in a blanket because it is cold as hell outside. Like, seriously, there's like... There is condensation on the window. That is how cold it is. <laughs> Anyways, let's just hop right in. <laughs> oh no, it stopped snowing. It stopped snowing, but <laughs> it was like raining all day. And the rain was cold and everything was cold. And usually I love the cold, but now I don't like the cold. Yeah, no, most of it, like, melted. Dark. Where is this? You woke up feeling like you were falling into an endless abyss. The view around you was dark. You couldn't even see your own hands when you lifted them up. Am I blind? Why can't I see anything? Aside from the boundless darkness, it was also extremely cold. So cold that it felt your whole being was being crushed from- was being crushed inside out. Your anxiety started kicking in. Your mind starting- starting to think of the worst scenario. It was a fight-or-flight response, and you chose flight, but there was nowhere to flee. <laughs> you tried to ask for help, but not even air would come out of your lungs. Suddenly, it was getting hard to breathe. It hurts. It's dark. Help. You kept kicking around desperately. Again. 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 Let me just hide that, because I don't know what's going to pop up. And again. Just when you started to lose consciousness, you heard a voice. A slightly deep, comforting voice. Come here, you'll be safe here. That was what you could discern from all these distracting noises, or maybe even other voices around you. You kept listening to the voice, and then within the blink of an eye, you saw a flood of light. At least you thought you did. All of a sudden, the space around you was filled with light. You actually couldn't see it, but you just knew that it was bright, and you started to feel warm. The warmth wasn't like anything you'd felt before. There was something familiar about it. You felt safe, it looked safe, and it smelled safe for some reason. And you, and you let yourself bathe in the light. You closed your eyes. It was calming. You opened your eyes and it was dark all over again. You started to panic and lifted away whatever was hindering you from sleeping, from seeing. At least it wasn't freezing. Oh, you woke up. Thank God he's wearing pants. You looked around, then at Mark, still disoriented, unsure if this was another dream or real life. The chilly air brushed against your fur, but surprisingly, you were feeling just fine. You gave yourself a pinch on the cheek. Ouch. Okay, whew. I'm awake. Had a nightmare? Eh, uh, sort of. Thought so. You were groaning and everything. Oh. I hope it didn't make you worry. As soon as you said that, you noticed that something was being pulled away. Hence, you lost the grip on it. It was him pulling his hand away from yours. Wait. Were you holding my hand the whole time? Meh. The nightmare, what was it about? I don't know, it was dark and everything. Did you feel like you were falling and it was hard to breathe? Yeah. It was cold. Yeah. And you heard a voice? Okay, that's scary, how did you know? Well, you were taking a nap out here, of course you'd feel cold in your dream. And you were basically smothering yourself with my hoodie the whole time. It's common for that to happen. Okay. What about the voices? Just a random guess. I see. Then I have a random question. You wouldn't smother me in my sleep, would you? You weren't smothering me in my sleep, were you? <laughs> Mark! I wasn't, promise. Okay, good. How long was have I been asleep, anyway? An hour, give or take. That long? That long. I can barely feel my legs anymore. With him mentioning that, you quickly got up. Sorry. Don't worry about it. I was the one offering you to sleep here, anyway. Ah, here's your hoodie. Thanks, Mark. He handed his hoodie back to him, and he sniffed it for a little bit. I hope it doesn't, didn't smell bad. No, it smells like you. Yeah, I hope I don't smell bad. Pleasant. He said it while putting his hoodie back on. You weren't too sure how we how to react to that. Anyway, let's head back inside. It was it was slightly cold without my hoodie. Sorry. Stop apologizing. All right, all right. Sorry. I'm gonna kick your ass. 
The chilly air that you once felt was no longer present in this room. It was almost like this room was a different place altogether. Well, technically it was, one indoor and one outdoor, but there should be something to explain the sudden change of temperature. Could it be the appliances? Maybe there was a heater installed somewhere else. Were those beefy bodies that belonged to your friends the cause of it? Either way, you were getting sidetracked. Get with the program, Walter. I have a question. A and I have the answer. Surprise, surprise. Haha, <laughs> anyway, what is it you that you want to ask? You were literally wasted earlier. How are you sober right now? I just sobered up. Fair, but that doesn't answer my question. I don't know. I just got... I just sober up fast when I get shit-faced, I guess. I mean, the fact that I kissed you must mean that I'm somehow still a bit under the influence. You said it like that was something you'd regret doing. Excuse me. What? Kissing? <laughs> Let me get wrapped up in this blanket tortilla again. Like, stand up and then get wrapped back up in it because it is cold. I don't know, Coach Gill. Hiya. And also, wow. I don't know, Coach Gill, what you're doing right now. That's kinda gay. And I'm like. <clears throat> there we go. Except my arms are now exposed, but it's really just my legs. Okay. Haha, <laughs> ha, leg joke. Coach Gill, you're acting pretty sus right now. Coach Gill's sudden voice increase blasted through your eardrums as if there was a lightning strike nearby. Except in this case, the thunder came first, lightning after. You heard him first before seeing him rushing into the room. <laughs> Thaf's gay. You were worried that it woke everyone up, but thank goodness it didn't. Coach Gill, keep it down! Keep it down? You asked me to keep it down after I heard something about you two kissing? To be fair, he didn't ask you. He demanded you. Details, details. Well, we did kiss. Mark? How did I not know about this? Walter, I thought we had something special. What? Am I not your favorite coach anymore? <laughs> I don't see how any of that is relevant to this at the moment. Maybe we can work on this, like, a threesome? <laughs> Calm down, Coach Gill. I'm actually going to like grab a different blanket because this one is like all over the floor and it makes me sad. So, which one? Coach Gill has no chill. Here, are we rapping now? to hurt the love interest in this route or Gil
Hi, welcome to literally every single furry visual novel in existence where shit like this will happen. It's happened in a lot of them. It has happened in a lot of them, like... It, like, kinda happened in Echo in Jenna's route. It happened in Nekojishi, where you had to decide to, uh, take the leopard... We had to decide to take Yan Shu Chi or Lin Hu to the market. You couldn't take both. Or Liku Lao. Same thing with the hamburger in that game. Uh. Hmm. It did happen in a lot of games. It's not just a concern. I don't see why you should be questioning about who I've kissed. Right. You got a point. Sorry. I was just overreact. I just overreacted. I'm gonna head back. Even though you literally just came out of the other room. Yeah. I'm more tired than I actually thought. So I'm gonna head back to sleep. Sleep? We only have a little time before going back. It won't take too long. I'm beat. Aw, oh, get some rest, Coach Gill. I will. You have fun. I feel like I said something wrong. Dunno. Maybe. Maybe not. Which one is it? I don't know. I don't see any point in us staying here. Should we head to our room? Sure. Don't you think we should start packing our stuff for home? Sure, if you want. Most of my stuff is still in my bag. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I don't want to leave much here. I don't want to leave anything here. Sounds good. After a few minutes of carefully rummaging through your items, you could safely say that all of them were there and accounted for. The same couldn't be said for Mark, though. He looked like he was looking for something, and judging from how he moved, it was something important. Something wrong, Mark? Uh, no, all's good. You sure? You look like you could use some help here. No, yeah, everything is in order, no worries. Mm, if you say so. I think that's all, but we don't have much time left, do we? It sounds ominous when you say it like that. Ha. Anyway, we should be leaving soon. Soon as in 30 minutes or so. Mm, I checked all my stuff and it's all there. Let's gather everyone then. I'm just going to pull out the sensor because we don't know who's going to have their dicks out. You got out and Lars was sitting where Gil sat just a while ago. He was looking outside curiously as if he were observing the surroundings. Oh, hey, Lars. Walter, what are you doing? Just sitting and thinking. Ah, can I join you? Sure. And I'll go inform Tora that we're leaving. Oh, okay. I believe Big Kitty will keep you entertained while I'm away. It's Lars. Yeah, whatever. Look after him for me, alright? He darted off before Lars could answer him, leaving him no choice but to do as he said. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, you know. Oh, no, no, it's not that. <laughs> I'm glad that you want to hang with me, then. <laughs> we're leaving soon, even though it feels like we just came here. Right? I was thinking that it was too fast. <laughs> Yeah. Did you have fun at least? I did! It was fun hanging out with the others. I'm glad. This has nothing to do with anything but hypothetically. Ha, <laughs> that's too technical. Pfft, go on. Never mind. What? You can't just say that. You got me all curious now. It's nothing important, really. I insist to know, even if it, even it's something that is the least important thing I've ever heard. Mmm, fine. I'm just facing a slight dilemma right now. I need your opinion on something. Okay, so what if you liked someone, but deep down you know that it's not going to work? What would you do? Oh. Well, I didn't think someone was going to ask me for relationship advice. Don't take my word for it, I'm all new to this, and I have no experience whatsoever. But, if it was me, I would... Ah! Do this the standard method or the lazy as fuck method? As cringe as it sounds, I'd follow my heart. The 
heart wants what it wants. There's not much we could do, in my opinion. Denying it isn't going to do any good for you, either. I'd rather die trying than being a coward. I see. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, hi. Ah, Coach Gill! You two are here. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Where's Mark? He's not with you anymore. He said he was going to fetch Taurus since we're leaving soon. Right, I'll go let the others know. Okay. He left. What happened between you two? It's something that I said to him earlier. <laughs> Should I be concerned? Do I need to hit him in the head? No, don't do that. Okay. Do I need to give him a... No, I'm all good, Lars. Thanks, though. Mm. Don't go bullying Coach Gill, okay? I won't. Is Mark here yet? Yes, I have returned. Oh, good timing. We don't have to wait any longer, then. Right. Everyone's good, then? Yeah, I got all my stuff in my backpack. The rest nodded after you. Seemed like everyone was ready to leave. Let's head out, then. Yeah, you're all here. You guys ready to leave? We wouldn't be if we weren't. Just asking. <laughs> right, gotta ask you something. Hmm? So if you see something... I shouldn't be eavesdropping. In the distance, you saw Avi sitting on the ground, sighing. You could feel that his life force was leaving his body with each sigh. Let's try talking to him. Hey, Avi. <sighs> hey, Walter. You don't look so good. What's up? I'm okay, just a little bit. No, I'm just exhausted right now. On top of that, we have school in a few hours. I shouldn't have come here. Aw, oh, but I've had fun with you here. If it's any consolation, we're all tired and have classes today. Except Lars. Mr. Parker and Coach Gill have to teach today, too. There's that, I suppose. Maybe I should skip school today. But my grades... Ugh. If you're smarter, you wouldn't have to worry about your grades. If you attended classes more, you wouldn't have to worry about your attendance. Oof. That clap back. Touché. Anyway, we're ready to leave now. You guys good? Meh. Avi got up with a grunt then brushed his pants with his paws, getting rid of the dirt before lifelessly walking toward Tora's car. So cranky when he didn't sleep well. <laughs> Aren't we all? True. Let's not keep the others waiting. Alrighty. Nothing much happened during the ride. Mark was taking a nap along with Avi. Mr. Parker and Coach Gill were playing some kind of competitive game on a small game console. Lars was minding his own business, and Anders was absorbed in his sketchbook. Not literally, of course. Seeing how many people were with you at the moment, if you're wondering how, how everyone managed to fit into Tora's car, the answer was obvious, because Tora's car was big enough to fit eight people. You glanced at Tora a few times during the ride. And he smiled when your eyes met. He didn't say anything the whole time, but he seemed like he had something in mind, though. Eventually, you arrived at the bus stop with Tor's help. After all of you got out, he left the bus stop for the inn. I gotta run. My old man needs me, actually. That was his reason. Made you sad that you couldn't talk to him more. Hmm. What? What's bothering you? Nothing. Don't lie. You're a lot quieter. Your mind is everywhere. I can feel it. I suppose I'm not a good liar. <laughs> nah, I'm just good at reading you. Ah. Uh, what's up? I'm just a little bit bummed out by the fact that we didn't get to stay longer. That's all. And Taurus se seemed bothered about something. It's probably nothing. Trust. But, for now, less worrying about what happened and start taking a few naps, because that's what I'm going to do. If you say so. No use thinking about something you really can't control. If you really wanted to tell you, he would have done it. Okay, you got a point. Of course I do. See you in a bit. Heh, <laughs> Okay. You woke up feeling tired, but you couldn't explain why. You also had a really weird dream. It had something to do with you and Mark, but not really you and him. It was weird, a little bit hard to explain even, but to be fair, you forgot most of it. When you looked over, Mark when you looked over, Mark was still sleeping. At least he looked like he was sleeping. You felt a sense of longing, as if he was someone you hadn't seen in a while. How long are you going to stare at me? He turned his head and looked at you all suspicious. I could see you staring at me through the window's reflection. Oh. He was awake the whole time, and he noticed that you'd been staring at him. Snap out of it. We've arrived. Oh. You looked like you slept well. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I think. I don't feel like I slept well. I slept at all. I should have slept, but Gil wouldn't stop beating me. Should I be concerned? He meant in-game. Ah, <laughs> sorry, it's a fighting game. Oh, okay. We should head back home now. Ah! What? More bus trip? 
<laughs> he looks so murdery. <laughs> that's the face of someone that's going to kill someone. Like, he... Gil genuinely looks like he's going to stab Mark. <laughs> Are you sure Mark's the Yandere in this situation, or is it Gil? <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> There's a thing that I'm looking for. And it is amazing. Coach Gill is going to kill us. Coach Gill is literally going to, like, murder us. Like. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Let me, let me. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It's literally snap mode in Yandere Simulator. You know, the, uh, the Yandere game with the anime girls. The game with the anime girls casually murdering each other. Here we go. It's snap mode. <laughs> he pushed the button. Stop overreacting. It's understandable. Anders gets me. Whatever. You go home now. Text me when you arrive safely, alright? Okay, see you later, Mark. If I decided not to, to not skip class, sure. You'd better not skip my class today, Mark. Meh. See you guys later. I suppose we should head back now. Yeah. And here we are. Thanks for walking home with me, Mr. Parker. Don't worry about it. It's not like my place is on the other side anyway. True. Gotta head home now. Still need to prepare materials for today's class. Oh no! I was thinking of doing it last night, but I got wasted. <laughs> Hopefully you can get it done soon, Mr. Parker. Same here, but it's no big deal. It's almost done. Just need to review a few things. Anyway, let me know if you want to hang out later or something. I might even help you study for tomorrow's test. There's a test tomorrow! I forgot about it! <laughs> Best of luck. I expect great scores from you. Uh, see you later, Walter. Okay, Mr. Parker. Time to unlock the door and... Huh? My door's not locked. Did I forget to do it? Should have grabbed something to defend myself in case someone broke in and is still inside. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Yes or bad guys don't exist in this game. Do we need to beat Mark to death? Just like, Mark, get over here. Mark, get over here. Someone casually broke into my house and is casually stealing my shit. I need you, Mark. <laughs> or something like that. Actually, no, maybe Mark isn't the person to call. It'd be Lars. Lars would be the person to call. It's probably just someone I'll end up being friends with. No big deal. You headed inside without a single worry in the world, despite knowing that someone might have just broken into your house. Once you were inside, you put your bag onto the couch and sat down with a plop. Woo, tired. Anyone here? <laughs> oh, there's someone here after all. Yeah. Oh, kid, you're back. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. I'm inspecting the house. There was a power surge last night. Really? I didn't know. Maybe if you checked your phone, you would know. Oh. My phone died. Figures. I left you a few mes messages in a voicemail. I thought something was up with you since you weren't responding. Came here with no one inside, and here you are. Uh, I went out with my friends. Alright, that aside, it seems like everything is in order. Okay. I'll do one more round, and then I'll leave. I see. Do I have to leave or anything? No need. Just do what you usually do. I'll be quick. Okays. 
And one more thing, kiddo. Yeah? You're too lax. At least learn how to protect yourself. Sure? With the intruder situation taken care of, you headed back to your bedroom, putting back all the stuff you brought with you to Waterfront to where it belonged. Once that was done, you grabbed a towel and went to the bathroom for a brisk shower. Some random thoughts filled your head while you were in the shower. They are mostly about Mark. You weren't too sure if the landlord was still in was still there inspecting your kitchen or not, so you sneaked around to reach your room. The landlord was... Well, he wasn't bad, but there was no reason to flash yourself in front of him. You didn't want to get charged for indecency, after all. Oh, did Mark ask me to text him once I'm home? I'm going to do that. And send. I'll go get dressed while I'm waiting for his reply. You rummaged through your closet, and suffice to say, you didn't have a lot of choices. Most of your clothes had the same color and pattern. Everyone would honestly think you didn't change your clothes for the whole week. Come to think of it, Mark always wears his blue hoodie, but it always smells so nice and expensive. I wonder if it's the same for him. Even so, he had a great sense of fashion. He could pull off a t-shirt and short pants combination, and he would still look bomb. Maybe I could ask him to help, ask him to shop for clothes with me sometime. I sure need a new outfit. Plus, that can be a good excuse to hang out with him. Oh! Sorry, I just got home. I was taking a nap. I'll go take a shower. BRB. Okay. Right, do you want to shop for clothes sometime later? What? Didn't you say you were going to shower? Yeah, but I figured I could just bring my phone with me. <sighs> Hydration. Fair. Clothes shopping, huh? Yeah, I need some new clothes. I keep wearing the same pattern throughout the week. I get sort of self-conscious. But you do look like you've been wearing the same clothes without changing it for a week. You think you don't? I didn't say that, and I change it every day. Fair. Maybe I'll take you sometime this week. We can't do that today, that's for sure. Oh, you got plans? No, but you do. What do you mean? Knowing you, you might have forgotten about studying for tomorrow's test. You're not wrong. Thought so. I'll help you study for tomorrow, and once we've done the exam, we go for some clothes. How about that? Sounds like a plan. Oh, son of a bitch! Uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, just shampoo in my eyes. Fun. Oh, we got- Oh, we get two classes starting this week, don't we? I believe so. What class do you take after Mr. Stones? Something about sociology, I think. Ah, social science. Yeah, that one. Cool. We're in the same classes today, then. Oh, really? I'm glad. I'm gonna dry myself. Be right back. Take your time. I'm gonna try grabbing some breakfast. Sure. With your phone still in a call with Mark, you headed to the kitchen and hoped for some sustenance. Unfortunately, there was nothing left. Well, nothing was an exaggeration. There were a lot of things inside, but you couldn't prepare any of it. Hoping for the usual, bread and jam. Actually, peanut butter. But there was none. Maybe Lars used it for yesterday's BLT. It was really good, though. Hmm. What? You'd forgotten that you were still in a phone call with Mark. I don't have anything to eat. You're shitting me! We literally bought groceries two days ago. No, I mean, there's nothing I can prepare right now. Not even bread? Not even bread! We should have bought some bread. I was going to, but you were judging me! I'm not sorry. Hmm. Okay. Yes? Don't mind me, don't mind me. How about we get something to eat at the cafeteria? Sounds good to me. I'll get ready for school then. Already? Yeah, so we can arrive at the same time. Oh, you don't have to do that though. Please, I'm not doing it for you. I'm just starving because there's nothing to eat at home. Aren't you going to eat your breakfast? I should try to not. I should try not to mention that. Anyway, catch you later. Right later. I told you I'm not gonna eat. I shouldn't intrude. Huh? It's a text message from the landlord. Hey kid, I finished checking around the house. Everything is good. If you're calling your mother sometime, tell her that the landlord said hi. Couldn't he just call her himself? Oh well, I'm not gonna question that. Okay, thanks. I should just head to school now. Got to make sure my door's locked. You locked the door and headed out, headed toward the gate. Once you were out there, you made sure that your gate, that the gate was properly locked. You were struggling a little bit to get the gate locked since you had so many keys. That should do it. Maybe it's time to invest in some key holders. You took the usual shortcut toward the school since it was early in the morning. You walked slowly to look at the surroundings en route. The school should be around the mountain over there, but I can't see it from here. 
It's probably a lot further than I initially thought. But hey, I get to see beautiful scenery on my way there. And here I am in front of Bublix. It's neat that the shortcut took me straight to Bublix. Honestly, I could stop by and stop by and grab something to eat, eat and drink if I need to. When it opens, that is. But why do that when you can eat good food at the school cafeteria? Plus, you got a conveniently placed vending machine in front of your house for drinks. Is that who I think it is? Hmm. Hey there. Brock showed up from the tea shop next to Bublix. He wore the nicest, purest smile you've ever seen as he greeted you. Oh, uh, something the matter, kid? Oh, nothing. I'm just not sure how to address you. Did I call you by your name, or do I have, have to add honorifics? Just my name will do. Okay, then. Heading to school? Mm-hmm. Why are you here, then? I've got to walk through here to get to, to the school, that's why. Ha! <laughs> here, I thought you were looking for me or something like that. You weren't sure how to respond to that, and he picked up on that. Just joshing you, kid. Wait, what? What? Oh my god, thank you for the follow! <laughs> Wait, you aren't wearing your apron this morning. Shouldn't you be working today? No, I don't work today. My shift starts from Thursday to Sunday. And when we're understaffed, that's for sure. I see. I suppose you can't hang out and chit chat with me this morning. Like you mentioned, I gotta head to school. Yeah. But it's still early enough for me to stay here for a few minutes. Awesome. Hmm, you said you're not working today, but what are you doing? Good question. Maybe what I'm wearing will be the answer. Er, you were... From top to bottom, he wasn't wearing anything extraordinary to you. Just a sweatshirt, jogger pants, and a pair of some trendy shoes. I got nothing. I was just finishing a run at the park. I see. That was totally my guess. Right, of course, kid. Say, I forgot to, a I forgot to ask you this, but I don't think I've seen you before recently. New to this town? Uh, yeah, just moved in two weeks ago. Oh, welcome to Highwell, kid. Thanks, I like it here. Don't think there's anything interesting here, though. Especially just trees and old people walking around. I don't mind it. Where are you from before moving here? I've lived in Farfetch for as long as I can remember. Oh, cool, the big city, eh? How's it, how's it over there? Hectic. That was a quick answer. One of the many reasons I moved out. What about you? Your accent is a little bit foreign. I'm from somewhere in the north. It'll take a 24-hour drive. If you could drive there, that is. I see. Why can't we drive there? Separated by the sea. It's a nice place. We got nice sea breeze all day, all night. Great seafood. It's more or less like here, but instead of forest and farmers, we got more sea and fishermen. And beer. And men. Sounds like a fun place. It is. Maybe you could come visit when you have the chance. I would like to. Glad to hear. Here you are. Huh? Oh, hi, Mark. I was waiting for you by the school, and here you are. Oh, Mark, when did the bus arrive? I didn't notice it the whole time I was here. It's because I wasn't taking the bus. Oh, okay. Hiya. Let's head to school. We're going to raid the cafeteria. I don't like how that's phrased. <laughs> We're going to do it regardless. I know. Just let me say goodbye to Brock. Wow. First name basis without the usual Mr. Intriguing. You said nothing and rolled your eyes instead. So, uh, hey, uh, sorry about the sudden notice, but I gotta head to school now. That's alright, kid. You go have fun, you hear? <laughs> There's nothing fun about school, but I'll try. Take care, Brock. Same to ya. Nothing fun at school? I'm offended. Can it, Mark? <laughs> Am I not fun? Did what I say to Brock bother you that much? What? No, of course not at all. It doesn't matter, then. It does. But you just said it doesn't bother you at all. Just be honest with me, really. That makes communicating easier. Fine. It bothers me. You are fun. Hmm. And I appreciate you communicating with me just now. Meh. I really mean it. If you weren't fun, I wouldn't have hung out with you all the time. Well, even if you weren't, I'd still hang out with you. Fine, fine, I get it. I'm a fun person. Of course I am. I don't know if you're just being difficult to me or you're just hungry. Both. Yo, is Mark going to, like, turn into a gremlin and just, like... And just, like, go ham on the breakfast. <laughs> what are we having? We? Aren't you going to get something to eat? I am. <laughs> Why were you questioning what I said then? I just assumed we'd eat the same thing, so I was making sure. But it got lost in translation. Whatever. Chilies. Whatever. Whatever, child. Anyways, so... I, I think I miss pronounce that what do you want i'll get whatever you get sure go sit down and wait for my return 
Yes, your majesty. You're not going to stop doing that, are you? It's just how you... It's just how you worded what you were saying. It sounded very fancy. He shook his head as he turned around to get both of you something to eat. Hey. Hmm? Coach Gill. Good morning, Walter. How's it going? Morning. It's alright. How about you? Decent. You here by yourself? Oh, no. I'm with Mark. Figures. So, uh, you mind if I sit here? Yeah, sure. If you want to. Alright, I'll be back once I've decided my breakfast menu. Okay. Was that Coach Gill here just now? God damn it. The word has arrived in chat. <laughs> I just noticed something. I just noticed something. Like if, if you look if you look like right underneath the eyes, you can see the uh, actual model eyes, just like and it looks like just like makeup. Yeah, he was asking if he could sit here. And? I told him it was okay. Cool. And here it is. One hamburger for each of us. Hamburgers? This early? Yeah, what's wrong with it? You don't like hamburgers? I could get something else if... I could get something else for you if you want. No, no, I like it. I'm just thinking if it isn't too oily or something. I don't know. I just feel like eating hamburger this morning. Alright, fair. So, Mark. Good morning. Oh, morning. I'm gonna sit here. You don't mind, do you? Don't care. Alright hamburgers in the morning oh for fuck's sake could i eat a hamburger at seven in the fucking morning without someone judging or asking me <laughs> wow right my bad i was just curious <laughs> sorry about that coach it's fine it's not your concern ouch that was awkward mark and go were constantly at each other's throats in a way you were thinking if there was something you could do to make it more relaxed but you didn't want to make the situation worse anyway you two actually showed up quite early. Meh, it would have been earlier. Falter wasn't out there getting a getting a little bit more than friendly with an ancient old man. What? Huh? I might need more details. Even though I might regret it later. First of all, it wasn't true. We were just talking, and Brock is an ancient. Wait, excuse me? Who did you say it was? Brock. Brock, like Brock? The mature, handsome, hunky, huggable Brock? Uh, I don't know about huggable, but he sure is hunky and handsome. Are you serious? What? That's what he is. No, that's not important. I didn't know you two knew each other. Ah, yeah. It was just a coincidence. Tell me more. Yes, Walter. Tell us more. How far have you gotten with the hunky and handsome dude? What are you trying to do? Nothing. We're just curious. Whatever. Anyway, I met him a few days ago when we headed to Publix. We? Mark and I. Did we? Yeah, Saturday. I think you remembered wrong. It was probably someone else's route. What? <laughs> we didn't see any Brock. You did. Oh, it was Friday. I met him when I was on my way to school. I think I remember I was feeling thirsty, so I decided to get something to drink. Some drink called boba tea. I see how this is going. These guys get into some kind of forbidden love. The act of seduction with round, chewy black orbs and making love behind the drink counter. No, that doesn't make any sense, and not to mention, gross. Alright, alright, just kidding. I also worked with him for a little bit. Because you missed him, so you asked for more? No! They were understaffed. He treated me. And then one of his and then one of the staff offered me something. What kind of offer? I didn't have to pay for the food I ate. Wait, you're saying that he treated you food, but you were expected to pay? It didn't exactly go that way. Brock tried to prove that he was treating me, but the manager sorta of insisted. But hey, I got a free Boba card thingy. He proudly presented the quality membership card in front of Coach Gill and Mark. That's cool. We should get some drinks sometime. Lame. How's that lame? It just is. Plus, admit it, you wanted to get some drinks to see this dude, this Brock dude's balls. <laughs> uh, sure, that's a bonus. I'm done. I know I keep saying that, but oh, why? We went from having a conversation about how our morning was going to talking about some random dude's balls. <laughs> because that makes sense. <laughs> Typical. It's who I am. Like you need to declare it. It appeared that they managed to ease up their tension 
their tense relationship by teasing each other in a friendly manner. He let out a relieved sigh and enjoyed breakfast together with Coach Gill and Mark. I'm glad you managed to clear up things with Coach Gill. Clear up what things? Whatever happened last night. Meh. I suppose so. You've been just so upset this morning. What's up? It's nothing. Are you sure? I just have this uneasy feeling like something bad's going to happen. Huh? Really? And it's usually true. I see. Did you forget to bring something or left the stove on or anything? I don't just forget to bring something and I don't touch the stove ever. Hmm. It's whatever, Walter. It will pass. If you say so, just let me know if something happens, okay? Sure. Alright, class concluded. Don't forget, we have an exam tomorrow. You could hear that most of the people in the class groaned. Including you. Ugh! I haven't studied or anything for anything. Man, that was boring. You think so? Yeah, I don't get why people would teach something we already know. What do you mean? Those lectures and fun facts were new to me. Right. You ready to study? No. Me neither, but you gotta. But why? Do you want to fail Mr. Stone's class? No, I don't. Can we at least postpone the studying until we're done with the next class? Sure, that's what I'm planning to do anyway. Awesome! So what are you planning to do while we wait for the next class? Not sure, I'm not hungry at the moment. And I'm still feeling uneasy. Hmm, I wonder if it's the food you ate this morning. No way, it was amazing. I'll probably get, get out there for a quick walk around the school. He said that as he grabbed his backpack. Oh, alright. You plan to go with Mark for a quick walk since it sounded like so much fun. But as your eyes met with Mr. Parker's, you noticed that he seemed like he had something to say to you. He smiled and you smiled back before giving him a nod. I'll catch up with you. It looks like Mr. Parker has something to say to me. Sure. He left. I hope he feels better soon. Hey, Walter. Hey, Mr. Parker. What's up? How are you faring in my at my class? Uh, Alright, I guess. <laughs> Why is there a question mark? Because I'm unsure. I figured that might be the case. You looked confused the whole time when we were reviewing what we've learned over the week. I did? Yeah, and you were probably daydreaming too. I will not answer that part. I advise you to study for tomorrow's exam, alright? I'll help you if you need it. Helping me pass the exam? No, I mean studying. Here, I was hoping for a free pass. You will not get a free pass just because we hang out outside the school. I tried. I admit that I haven't studied, but Mark said he'll help me study later. About Mark. What about him? Don't you think he's a little bit distracted today? Or are you sure he's not just paying attention to the class like he usually does? No, I mean, yes, he does that all the time. I don't blame him. It gets boring listening to the lectures you've heard before, especially if you're smart. But he looks even more distracted. Usually he'd play with his pen. Still don't know how to spin a pen like that, by the way. But today, he just stared out of the window. Like he was worried about something. Hmm. He did say that he was worried about something. He did? Maybe I should go talk with him sometime. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. He's been so angry. Noted. I didn't know you I didn't know you pay attention to us at all. Of course I do. I stand in front of you guys and everything we do is and everything you guys do is noticeable to me. I'll keep a mental note of that in case I want to cheat on tomorrow's exam. Please don't do that. I won't. Good. That aside, I want to ask you if you want to hang out or something. We could get something to eat at the cafeteria. I could use a few bites of today's delicious hamburger. Ah! Uh. <laughs> well, I'm going to retie my hair real quick. On one hand, hanging out with Mark is fun, but on the other hand, maybe we can talk part... Maybe we can talk Mr. Parker into helping us cheat on the exam. But Mark! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> My hair is a pain in the ass right now. Hiya! Ah! <laughs> about it we're just trying to figure out if we want to uh, hang out with mark or mr parker uh. 
Okay, that makes things easy. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm really sorry, I can't leave Mark, especially if he's feeling uneasy for no reason at all. I understand. You're a good friend, Walter. I try. Rain check? Rain check. Mark said he'd walk around the school, but where is he? Since you couldn't find Mark anywhere near the school grounds, you decided to head inside. I need to go number one first thing first. As you walked in, you heard someone flush the toilet. I don't know why, but it's always awkward when someone walks in when I'm in the restroom doing my thing. I'll just be quick about it. Once your flower's unzipped, your cup. Would you mind? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let's rewind, rewind. <laughs> It's always awkward when someone walks in when I'm in the restroom doing my thing. I'll just be quick about it. Once your flowers unzipped, your cup. Would you mind? That was beautiful. You took a piss at the far end urinal in the hope that nobody would stand next to you. While you were minding your own business, that one person who occupied the stall came out. Hmm? I feel like I know you. Okay, does this guy have an NSFW sprite? Of course, we always gotta break the fourth wall. We always have to break the fourth wall. Does this guy have an NSFW sprite, though? I need answers. Because it is going to decide whether or not to keep the sensor up. Who's this fuck? Uh. Uh. Uh, let's start with Hendrick. Who's this? Who's this? That's not him. That's not him. Uh, Mr. T. That's not him. Sam. That's not him. Talbot. It's Talbot. And that is him. And thankfully... N no PP exists on him. You looked back and it was someone that was vaguely familiar to you. What's his name again? Talbot or something? I remember Mark told me that I should stay away from him. Quote, nothing but trouble, end quote. Oh, really? I guess there are a lot of wolfmen in the school. Hm, I don't think so. I've seen you with Coach Gill before. Oh, you know Coach Gill? More than no. I see. You had just finished peeing, so you quickly did what people do after they finished. Shaking and washing hands. Talbot has been washing, had been washing his hands for a while now, talking about wasting water. I don't think we've met before. I believe I don't know anybody who looks as lame as you. Wow, that's cool, I guess. At least you don't seem to be as stuck up as that clown. Clown? It doesn't matter. Name's Talbot, remember that. Yeah, I already know. He left without letting you introduce yourself, not like you wanted to anyway. On to the more pressing matter. I still don't know where Mark is. I guess I could wait outside. Or I'm dumb, I could have asked where Mark... Or Mark... I could have asked where Mark is on the phone. But I should have done so when I... So I wouldn't have to see Talbot. Let's see, I got... I'm gonna call Mark. Ringing. He's not picking up. Ringing. Oof! Someone accidentally bumped into you while you were waiting for Mark to answer the phone call. You almost dropped your phone on the ground, but thankfully your reflexes were fast enough to catch it before it did. Really sorry about that, bud. That's okay. It seemed... It seemed like the other person... Seemed like the other person were pushing him. He looked annoyed by it and asked his friend not to do that. Back to Mark. What's up? Oh, you answered. Yeah, what's up? Oh, the voice is especially clear today. I wonder if it's because I got a, got a good signal out here. <laughs> you won't believe what just happened. What just happened? So I went to the restroom to take a piss, yeah? Mm-hmm. Talbot was apparently in the restroom with me. It was awkward. Talbot? What the heck? You scared me. How so? I've been here the whole time. Really? Yeah, you didn't notice that I... Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! Is this some Doki Doki Literature Club bullshit? You really didn't notice that the chat box was... Yeah, you didn't notice that it sounded really clear for someone who was talking over the phone? I did. Where have you been? Tell me about Talbot first. I just need to make sure that I, I don't have to break a few bones. Huh? Can you even fight? No, my bones would be the one breaking. It was nothing. He was just introducing himself in a weird way. That makes sense. You've never really met each other. You better not lie to me. I'm not lying to you. Fine. I was in the library. Library? That's cool. It's not. 
Why were you there? No reason. I just wanted to explore. I don't think I've ever been to the school library even once. Fair. I should probably ask Mr. Parker to help me study at the library later. No, you're coming with me. Just Monica. More like just Mark. Hiya, welcome to literally every single stream that happens here, where we have random shit in the lower right corner. Speaking of him, what did you want to talk- what did- what did you talk about with Mr. Stone? He was asking me if you- if I wanted to eat lunch with him. Why didn't you go with him? I just didn't want to. I'm not hungry anyway. Plus, you looked like you could use some company. Cringe. Hey, it's true! Since you're already here, follow me. I want to show you something. Oh? Lead the way. You arrived at the playing fields with Mark, the same one you visited last week. It was still the same empty, lifeless place. You wondered if anyone ever visited. So, why are we here? Bet you didn't know this place existed. 
Uh, I did. I visited here last week, same day. Really? I guess this is no longer my secret hiding spot. I'll pretend I never went here. So what, so what about this place? It's just a mostly empty field. People don't come here often since our school focuses more on academic achievements, I guess. In other words, we get more nerds than jocks in this school. Really? I wouldn't know. Like, honestly, the people I've seen in this school are jock-worthy. That is something I can agree with. We do get a lot of beefcakes here. No, that, but that's not my point. <laughs> Come to think of it, that might actually be the reason why Coach Gill is a temporary teacher. He is? I didn't know. Or maybe I just forgot about it. You know me. I do remember him telling me that he got transferred here. Is that so? Yep. Okay. I don't think I've ever gotten a clearer view of the mountain near the school. It's pretty, isn't it? It is. S yes, soccer is for straight people. Well, even though I never played it, I still used to love soccer. Like, uh, just the idea of kicking a ball and making it go burr. I used to love that, and I'm not straight. If I was straight, what I seriously be doing this? Almost familiar, even. Maybe you'd been there before when you were little. Probably. It's your hiding spot, isn't it? So what do you do out here? I used to bring lunch and eat here, and after that, I'd take a nap. I still nap here occasionally, though. Although, not as much as I did back then. My attendance is shitty. I pretty much gotta attend to every class or I'll get wrecked. Oof. So that's what Avi meant last night. Ha! <laughs> Wait, speaking of Avi, I haven't seen him since this morning. Eh, don't worry about it. Soccer really is for straight people, though. So apparently, kiss them is a sex term. Kiss them is a sex term, apparently. You probably overslept and made an excuse not to attend today's classes. I wish I had done that. Why didn't you? Yo, why didn't we make up an excuse? Because I want to see you. Get serious. It's true. Well, I'm here, so look at me all you want. Should not have said that. You should not have said that. You should not have said that. I'm looking all right. All right, stop. That's embarrassing. But why? Didn't you tell me to look at you all I want? Because usually you'd get embarrassed and I'd have fun teasing you. Oh, how the turntables. Let's head back inside. Already? Yeah, our class starts soon. Oh, okay. What is our next class about anyway? Social science. Hmm. It's quite hard to explain. But in a broad sentence, it's a study of matter of manner in society. <laughs> That's not too helpful. Hmm. Let's just say we learn how people behave and influence the world around us. We study the societies and relationships among us. He said it! He said among us! That's more understandable. Why did you decide to take the class? Well, I feel like I'm a little bit awkward, and I almost had no long-term interactions until I got here. I wanted to improve my social skills, so I, saw, so I thought taking a class with the word social in it would help. I see. For me, I just like to study people so I can pull off the weird tricks I've been pulling. Fair. Well, anyway, we're here, so after you. Hehe, <laughs> thank you. We're going to leave off here tonight. Ah, my back. Fuck. <clears throat> See, chivalry isn't dead. Markica. Just Markica. <laughs> eh. 
Anyways, I'm gonna walk off. Stay safe, have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow.